Hello, sardine and onion sandwich fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is My Sands 3 Minutes Max. Today we're going to be talking about bites. We talked about bits yesterday. Let's talk about bites today because bites are a combination of bits. Bite comes from the word uh, by eight, or the words by eight. Everybody thinks it comes from a play on the word bite because of bit, but it uh, comes from by eight. And what is a byte actually? Well, a byte is a typed character. It's like the letter A, the number six, a space, uh, hitting the tab key. That's one byte of data. We're not going to get into Unicode or two byte alphabets. We're going to do that in a later episode. So a byte consists of eight bits. So let's consider where these bits go. Actually, placeholders. A placeholder has two possible values, either a zero or a one. So the total of all of these is 16 possible values across eight placeholders. A 256 possible combinations of these. Because there's two possible values, that's why it's referred to as base two. But let's back up for a minute and talk about these in terms we're more familiar with. So if we use base 10 on the same eight placeholders, it would look like this. Each placeholder has 10 possible values in a given placeholder rather than two. So let's look at this. We only care about the placeholders with numbers other than zero. And then we multiply the value in the placeholder by the 10 power that's above that given placeholder. In this case, one times 10 to the third is uh, plus three times 10 to the two plus five times 10 to the one plus six times 10 to the zero equals 1,356. Simple in decimal. But what about binary that's a base two system? Because we can only have two possible values for placeholder. So in being base two, we can put two above each number. And then add the power of or exponent to it. Two to the zero, two to the one, two to the two, two to the three, two to the four, two to the five, two to the six, uh, two to the seven. So now let's do the math because exponent math isn't easy, at least not in my head. So if we do the math and put the answer above the placeholder, we know which placeholder is worth what. So two to the zero in exponent math is one or whatever the value is in that placeholder. Two to the one is two, two to the two is four, and eight, 16, 32, 64, 128. Now to convert this binary to decimal, we take the values above the placeholder that have a one and add them together. In this case, because there are ones in every placeholder, the total of all is 255. Now you might say, why not 256? I thought 256 was the highest number. Well, it is. In the above addition, we have not included zero, which would be the 256th number. So let's try a different one just for practice. In the above, we only add up the placeholder values for the placeholders that have a one in them and ignore those with a zero. As a result, we get a decimal 90. What is this? This decimal mean? Why is it important to us? Well, for example, the above 90, if this were part of an IP address, would be the 90 in 192.168.90.5. But this is not the only place that uses a decimal representation to work with some other value. But more on that later as we talk about hexadecimal and nibbles and ASCII, etc. But in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of Three Minutes Max.